I am Chastity Monroe, the owner of Pink Noir Beauty Supply and Cosmetics. Um, I am a native Memphian, uh, born and raised. I've always really wanted to invest in Memphis and to have a business in Memphis means the world to me. While there are many beauty supply stores, um, I really feel that as a black woman, as a person who goes to beauty supply stores, there was never a store that made me feel like, oh, I'm here. Pink Noir has significance in the fact that pink, it stands for femininity. Noir is black in French. Um, and with the E on the end, it's the feminine version of black. So oftentimes, as black women, we're not allowed to showcase our femininity. We're not allowed to have it. It's kind of reserved for white women or others. To be a place where black women can come and feel like they can let their hair down, to be in a place that's beautiful and has a great aesthetic, to be in a place where they feel valued. Okay. Yes. Well, this, this is nice. Yes, thank you, girl. Hey, my name is Tierra Peterson. I'm 28 years old and I am a mother, single mother of a 10 year old diva who thinks she runs my world, but she does not. And I'm also the owner of Dope Magnets Company, which is uh, a company where I do graphic design, social media content, and what else I do? Cause I forgot. Yeah, tell me about it. What's what we got going on? I, I, okay. I can kind of tell, but I can't. So what we got? Okay. So this area here, as you can see, this is a cash wrap, and so this is where the register will be. Pink Noir is going to be different in a few ways. One, we really want to be able to have. Uh, an offering that will really speak to all different textures. You know, as black women, you know, we come in all different shapes, sizes. Um, this is probably one of my favorites, the wig wall. So I here love it. will be featured all of the wigs of the week, right? Now, so, I ain't never seen black mannequins. Yes, like that yes. is super, super it's dope. pink noir, you know? That's it. The beauty of black women is that we can change our hair up. Like one day I might be into protective styles like braids or, um, you know, uh, weaves or wigs. And the next day I might be cutting, you know, running a short haircut. Um, that's relaxed. The next day I might just be natural. But I want this to be a place where you feel confident in wherever you are in that stage that you can get the products that you really want that you'll not be embarrassed that you'll know that these people are knowledgeable and you won't be followed around i mean i love it but um sis what's what's going on with y'all heat it's a little cold in here it's cold it's cold listen The, the heating inspection never actually got scheduled. And so, long story short, it's just been a, quite a few weeks that have gone by. He's had excuse after excuse after excuse, and nothing has been done. Please call him, because we got to figure this out. It's cold in here. I should have known something was up because when <laughs> I actually saw his vehicle, it was a little run down. I, I don't want to put his name out there, but it was a singular version of a very popular name for his industry. Now, when I, doing my due diligence, I looked this up, but I looked it up with an S on the end, so plural. When I looked it up, this company I was looking at had five star reviews. So, <laughs> after all of this has happened, after I haven't heard from him, I decide to go back, me and my handyman, we were like, well, let's just review this again. And so I'm looking, because I'm actually ready to pull up on them. That's really why I'm looking them up, because I'm ready to pull up on them and see what's going on. And so I, I got the address and I'm telling my handyman, I'm like, oh yeah, this is the address. And so I'm telling him, he's like, oh no, he is the singular version, not the plural version. And I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. 
Is it safe to say that we went to the McDowell's of HVAC versus the McDonald's of HVAC? The lie detector test determined that is the truth. Mm -hmm. Hi, Tom. It's Chastity. How are you? Hey, how you talking? You your schedule? I sure did, but I didn't hear from you, so I just wanted to, you know, talk to you because, you know, it had been a couple weeks, so we definitely got an inspection going on. Was, give me a rundown. What's up? Yeah. Uh, it's Tuesday. I sent you a schedule for your final. Okay, so well, Tom, I do, yeah, I had to do a reinspection on it, so I mean, they run it behind. It's not on me. Every time I have to pay for the inspection, so I have to wait three, four, five days for it to go. You know, for it to go to right, Tom. But I had been calling you every day trying to get an update on what was going on, and the least you could have did was just let me know that that was what was happening. Tom, I called you every day for the last week and I didn't hear anything back. I can't get nobody in here until we pass that heat. I can't get no staff. I can barely get my workers in here. Like this, all, everything we got going is depending upon this heat. And it's literally, we started this in December and it's now about to be March. So I just need you to communicate with me. At 8 a.m. It could be 8 a.m. Okay. All right, Tom. I, I need this okay. to be open. I really I do. You. Be blessed. Bye-bye. Be blessed. What? It's giving lying.